And howdy guys, and we're back over here. Everything is totally done with the admin app. Now it's time to actually reflect these changes also within our proxy app, all right? So now in order to discuss the proxy app flow, let's actually take a moment to talk about the proxy app flow, right? So we, we discussed beforehand, this is the admin app communication flow. R functions from controllers are imported into the routes file. And then we have the admin front end, which is the React components and yada, yada. Within our, our, uh, uh, within our proxy app, right? So I'm gonna rename this proxy app communication. All right, proxy app flow. Then we have the liquid templates. Liquid templates, okay? And the liquid templates has an Angular app within it. This is gonna be liquid templates has Angular, uh, Angular JS within it, okay? And if somebody wants to add Vue.js into it, that's fine as well, but this is the current situation. Angular JS app, Angular still works beautifully, but Maybe it's, uh, you know, that's, that's life. Just got to keep on moving and, and go, go with, the, with the path of least resistance. One sec. Okie dokie. So this is all good. Uh, AngularJS app is a bunch of uh, functions, actually, that, re that loads, loads an AngularJS app on the back end. It's pretty cool. It feeds it into the liquid templates. Liquid templates... Uh, then um, make a make an Ajax request to the route and the functions from the controllers are then all pulled in let's have a look at what that looks like within the actual uh, within the actual proxy app over here so I'm gonna go into proxy here and I go into uh, routes and then actually everything is within the routes over here liquid templates it's actually within the proxy routes so here let me let me save that routes Proxy, Oop. controller function from a proxy controller folder. Okay. Admin backend hits the proxy routes. Okay, that's kind of the way that it works. The liquid templates and the proxy routes folder talk with talk with one another. Everything is nested within the routes. If you want to go ahead and clean it up, that's fine as well, and just put everything high level, but this is currently the current structure. Liquid templates, liquid controllers. Okay, cool. So let's, let's just do a regular, a regular post over here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, right, just make sure that the post still works. I'm going to go ahead and create a post. Okay, of course, it takes me over here. I'll go in. Let's see. Okay, of course that does not work, but what if I change my password? All right, guys, so once you're actually logged into your given shop, then you go ahead into the news feed. This is the news feed, blogs list view. This is the actual admin view, and this is the admin view. That's important. That's an important piece of the puzzle. By the way, if we have any designers out there that want to totally uh, you're right, create new designs and, and whatever, feel free to reach out. Uh, definitely happy to integrate new designs into this project. All right, so uh, welcome Alicia Kramer. Always happy to hear from our community. This is where I can create some content, some content from February, let's see, I think from February 17, Feb 17, 2021. Okay, save post. Oh, wait a second. Okay, cool. Everything works. By the way, if you upgrade your Mongo database, it's going to be a lot, a lot faster. This is working off of a free Mongo database. The moment you upgrade for like seven bucks a month, it goes like 50 times faster. It's gorgeous uh, and awesome. All right, cool. So that post got submitted. Let's have a look within our blogs uh, collection over here. And uh, I also want to order this options, sort it according to the created at field, right? Negative one. So that's in descending order. Mongoose lingo for descending order. All right. According to the created at field. Okay. New post by community member. Uh, meta description. Click here to get started. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. So we're just going to work off of the meta description because the meta description is automatically the first line, um, right? The first line within the post. Okay, cool. So that works. Now we need to look at our proxy folder over here. Proxy, liquid templates, right? Within the proxy folder, we go into routes, then we go into liquid templates, then we go into our Angular, 
and we go into our add comment view over here. Within the add comment view, you'll see that uh, whatever, this is a bunch of AngularJS code, it automatically, right, compiles this AngularJS code over here, uh, right? And, um, and there's, there's also, there's an Ajax function which is, which is uh, defined over here, right? So $scope.submit uh, comment, now we need to go to create new post for the example. Every time that someone does dollar scope dot tags dollar skit dot submit user blog post, it makes an Ajax request to the server, and that server is located uh, within liquid temp within proxy routes. Okay, so let's go at proxy routes into blog. Okay, and within that blog, right, it looks very similar. It's a very similar structure to what we have within the admin app. Um, but it's specific to, uh, right, but this is only for the proxy app. So this is the server which is specific to the proxy app, one sec, handling all the data that's that needs, to, that needs uh, which is necessary for the proxy app. And let's have a look at the create function. So we have the proxy routes, we have a bunch of functions from the controller, proxy slash controller slash blog which is in the proxy controllers folder over here. And within that, we're gonna go into blog, right? Exports.create, fine. And this is pretty much where it, where it needs to happen. The only thing we really need to do here is, um, is when we create that blog, uh, that blog um, right, let's go back into our database for a moment over here, right? Um, hmm. Actually, we need to think about this for, for a moment over here. So we need to, let's, let's look at our actual app over here. The question is, um, hmm, okay, there's a couple of things that need to be thought through over here. Uh, first of all, we need to say, think about this message over here. So this message, this is a message um, that appears when someone posts something and it says, thank you for submitting your new post. A moderator will review your content and publish it if approved. So that means that when somebody creates a new post, then we should check within the shop record, is, is post moderation required? If so, uh, then show this message. If not, then, um, uh, then um, just say, hey, your new post is available here. And you need to do the same, we need to do the same thing on the comment, um, on the comment level as well. And uh, yeah, and, and, then, uh, and then within our news feed also, let's have a look over here, right? Right now, there is no post there. Uh, let's go back into our, our admin app for a moment. And uh, let's see, Shopify. And let's go into our manage posts section for a second. This is why it's helpful that we have, uh, that we at least have um, ngrok because if we didn't have ngrok, we wouldn't know what's happening within our admin app. We would need to reset it uh, within, within our app setup over here every single time. And it's also, it's on two different pages for setting the ngrok URL for the proxy app and the admin app. Those are two different ngrok URLs. Uh, as mentioned, and that's why it's good that we had, you know, it's going to save us a little bit of time, right? And Grok and Next.js are still a terrible combination in terms of speed. Oh, wait a second. Sorry, guys. We didn't actually. I think the admin app needs to be run over here. Yeah, CD admin backend. CD admin backend. And npm start. Okay. Right. Of course, there was an error because because the backend was not running. Now everything is running, right? Three different terminals, one for the admin backend, one for the admin front end, just as a reminder, and one for the proxy app itself. And let's see what happens here. But we should also, uh, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna write out, write out the features. And that's always a, a really good practice, I believe, um, uh, uh, just, just for development. Uh, let's go ahead and, and add a new, a new file over here uh, while we wait for this. Okay. All right, cool. So this is our new post that was published five min six minutes ago. If I press make public, okay, it says blog toggled successfully. And then if I go into the, the admin app, uh, right, our community, and I refresh, 
then it appears over here okay so that is so that's pretty much the things that need to be changed okay so um, right thing uh, new features and this is also very helpful just when you're trying to trying to create new features it's always helpful to write out all the different features as specifically as possible for yourself that way it'll be easier for you all right so let's see um, a okay we're gonna write new features uh, let's see to-do list for adding auto approve uh, features okay okay uh, on post and comment levels okay let me make this a little bigger what's our to-do list uh, a when someone submits when someone submits a comment check uh, right when someone's we'll, we'll first write it out for posts and then it'll be very similar for for comments when someone submits a post uh, check um, check whether the given shops uh, uh, check the given shops post moderation field okay step one check check the the moderation field all right so pull out that record whatever if moderation is required on the post level show message message on submit what should the message on submit be it should be um, it should be your post will be reviewed okay ah that's that's the first thing you know what we actually have a database record let's go back into our database for a second and look at the at the post here when we toggle the blog back and forth um, uh, right so here one second let's let's have a look at our at our Shopify app over here right when we press make hidden or make public here right you see it keeps on changing over there what's happening at the same is is very similar to what we did in the last flow this is a setting toggle Shopify Polaris component it updates the database it updates a specific value over here which is um, let's see I think it's called hidden okay let's see hidden see hidden is true uh, let's let's go ahead and refresh this over here hidden is now false okay so when we press that it it, uh, it sets that so it sets it toggles this value over here so on the post level um, control C we just need to we just need to put that in the specs over here if moderation is required on the post level uh, do this and this there are two things that we need to do so guys okay uh, on the post record in the database set hidden um, to false okay set hidden to false set hidden to true okay if moderation is required on the post level do the following two things Show message on submit. Your post will be reviewed, and on the post record in the da database, set hidden to true. All right, guys. So that that pretty much I th I think is going to cover pretty much ev everything that we need to do, and uh, we need to do the same two things just on the comment level as well. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, we say when someone submits a comment, check the given shop's comment moderation field comment moderation field if comment moderation is required if uh, sorry, if moderation is required on the comment level show message on submit uh, your comment will be reviewed okay um, and on the post record on the comment record in the database right so you see on the left side we have comments as its own collection okay on the comments 
rec uh, on the comment record in the database set hidden to true if moderation is required. All right, guys. And uh, okay, that pretty much covers almost everything. I think we do have one other case that we need to think about. Uh, we need to say what if? Okay, and then we say what if moderation is not required? Okay, so I'm just going to write else if if moderation is not required on the comment level, then uh, we just need to say show message on submit. Um, yeah, I'm just going to copy paste that just to make it a little clearer. Show message on submit your comment. Uh, you know what? We don't even need to show a message. We could just. Uh, uh, well, we have two different two different comment views, by the way. So um, uh, we'll have a look at. We need to have a look at that in a moment. Show message on submit. Your comment is available here. Your comment is available here. Uh, fine. Uh, or show comment, whatever. Or just show the comment. Okay, your comment is live and available here, something like that, or just show the comment. And on the comment record in the database, set hidden to false. So that's kind of important. Set hidden to false. Okay, and we need to do the same thing also for our post. All right, so as you can see, show message on submit. Your post is live and available here. Okay, cool, and on the comment and on the post, on the post record in the database, ah, we need to write over here, else if moderation is not required on the post level, okay? Else if moderation is not required, okay, so, as if moderation is not required on, on the post level. Okay, cool. So if moderation is not required on the post level, show message on submit. Your post is live and is available here. And on the post record in the database, set hidden to false. All right, guys? So that's pretty much the specs. We just covered the specs. We haven't put it into the code, but you know what? It's really great that we actually made time to write out the specs. If you have any questions on this, feel free to let me know. But this is, was a good video for us to understand exactly the UX a little bit, exactly what needs to be updated. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, users are asking for something pretty simple. They're saying, can users auto, um, like, do I need to approve every single comment and every single post, uh, right? Can you let, let users post without my, my approval? But you can see there's actually a good amount of depth to it at least on the back end, all right, guys, in terms of the UX and, right, and updating the Shopify admin app and updating the proxy app. It's a lot of stuff, but you know what? At the end of the day, number one, patience is a virtue, and I forgot the other one, but um, if you have any questions along the way, uh, feel free to reach out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.